people usually say Geronimo when they come out straight away like that. Let's do it together. Geronimo. One, two, three. Geronimo. That's the way to do it. It's a Arabian highwayman, the story we will tell. His name was Willie Brennan, and in Ireland he did well. First on the Kilworth Mountain, he commenced his wild career. And many wealthy noble and they bore him shook with fear, and his friend on the bow. Brennan on the bow, bow brave and undaunted was young Brennan on the bow. One day upon the highway as Willie went down, he met the mayor of Cashel a mile outside the town. The mayor he knew his features, and he said, young man, said he, your name is Willie Brennan, you must come along with me, and it's Brennan on the board. Brennan on the board, bold, brave and undaunted, was young Brennan on the board. Now Brennan's wife had gone to town for visions for the bride, and when she saw Willie, she commenced to weep and cry. He said, hand to me that tenpenny, and as soon as they spoke, she handed him a blunder box from underneath the cloak, for young Brennan on the board. Brennan on the board, bold, brave and undaunted, was young Brennan on the board. Now with this loaded blunderbuss, the truth I will unfold. He made the mare to tremble, and he robbed him of his gold. One hundred pounds was offered for his apprehension there. So he with horse and saddle through the mountains and prepared to jump in on the board. Brennan on the board, board brave and undaunted, was your Brennan on the board. Now Brennan being an outlaw upon the mountains high, with cavalry and infantry to take him they did try. They laughed at him with scorn until at last was said by a false-hearted woman he was cruelly betrayed. Was young Brennan on the board? Brennan on the board, board brave and undaunted, was young Brennan on the board. Now that song was the friend on the the highwayman is about. He was also a politician to tell me. Like all good politicians, rob the rich, rob the poor, <laughs> kept the whole damn lot for himself. <laughs> that's, that's what all politicians are about, right? <laughs> they also say about politicians they're like diapers. They both have to be changed regularly and for the same reason. I like that one, that's good. Over here, Eddie Dillon, am I right here? Cousin Eddie. We call him Cousin Eddie. When he plays well, he plays bad. Well, we have other wars, don't we, Eddie? <laughs> On my left is my son, Finbar Clancy. Hello. And I, of course, are the youngest and the handsomest of this group, let's face it. Bobby Clancy. Thank you. And here's a song we know that you all know. It's called The Whistling Gypsy. We want you to sing this chorus with us because we're out for fun tonight. We're out to enjoy ourselves. Everybody gets involved. You all sing. You don't get paid as much as we do, but you can sing <laughs> and have fun. You all know the chorus of Gypsy Rover? You do. Yep. If anybody looks at you very peculiar for singing, belt them. <laughs> That's all you can do. Are you ready? Dug into this now and enjoy it. Relax, sit back and relax. Just relax and sway along with the song, okay? That's the way. A gypsy rover came over the hill down to the valley so shady. He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang and he won the heart of the lady. A de do, a de do, da de. A de do, a de de de. He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang, and he won the heart of the lady. She left her father's castle gates. She left. Her own true lover She left her servants and estate To follow the gypsy rover La-dee-doo, a-dee-doo, da-dee 
valleys all over he sought his daughter at great speed and the whistling gypsy road he whistled and he sang till the green woods rang and he won the heart of the lady Came at last to a mansion fine, bound by the river of Clady. There was music, there was wine, the gypsy and his lady. I know all this time. Let's hear it. Come on. Stand up and applaud yourself. That's lovely. He was and sang till as lovely. He is no gypsy, my father, she said, but Lord of these lands all over, and I will stay till my dying day, my whistling gypsy rover. All together now. And he won the heart of the lady. Then he goes off down the road. Bye. Happening on the twenty third of June, as I sat weaving all on my loom. Happening on the twenty third of June, as I sat weaving all on my loom. I heard a thrush singing in young bush, and the song he sang was the jug of punch. Gladly fall the day. Gladly fall the day. Dum skiddy diddle dum skiddy diddle diddle dum dum dee. What more diversion can I my desire than to sit him down or beside the fire? What more diversion can I my desire than to sit him down or beside the fire? And in his hand I had jug of punch, I had on his knee a tidy wench, Ludley Faldy. Ludley Faldy diddle diddle dum skiddy diddle dum skiddy diddle diddle dum dum dee. What more hardship can a boy endure than to sit him down or behind the door? What more hardship can a boy endure than to sit him down or behind the door? And in his hand, no jug of punch, I and on his knee, no tidy wench, gladly fall the dee. Gladly fall the diddle diddle dum skiddle diddle diddle dum skiddle diddle diddle dum dum dee. When I am dead and my drinking's over, I'll take one drink and I'll drink no more. When I am dead and my drinking's over, I'll take one drink while it's to the fore. In case I mightn't get a turn that day, I will take it now and I'll drink away loudly for the day. Loudly for the diddle diddle dum skiddle diddle diddle dum skiddle diddle diddle dum dum dee. When I am dead, I end in my mold, at my head and feet live a flown bowl. When I am dead, I end in my mold, at my head and feet live a flowing bowl. And every young man that passes by, he can take a drink and remember I loudly followed thee. Radley followed the little light, little dumb skid the little dumb skid the little 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 dumb dumb dee. Hey, hey, hey.
hills My bonnie Irish lass Come over the hills To your darling You choose the road, love And I'll make the vow And I'll be your true love forever Red is the rose That in yonder garden grows Fair is the lily of the valley Fear is the water that flows Down by Kalani's green woods that we strayed The moon and the stars, they were shining The moon shone its rays on her locks of golden hair And she swore she'd be my love forever Red is the rose that in yonder garden grows Fair is the lily of the valley Clear is the water that flows from the vine My love is fair Not for the parting of my sister Kate Tis not for the grief of my mother Tis all for the loss of my bonny Irish lass That my heart is breaking forever Red is the rose that in yonder garden grows Fair is the lily of the valley Clear is the water that flows from the barn My love is fairer than I Thank you. We're going to sing your song now about people when they get older in life, like Eddie and myself, and <laughs> one or the other. Uh, he either have it or you don't have it. It's called Florum. He's got no Florum. He lost his ding door, and this is how the story goes. But before the song, we should tell you a little story about a doctor and his first patient. And the doctor saying to the first patient, he said, for a man, he says, of 60 years of age, I can't believe it, you're in fantastic shape, he said. This guy was taken back a bit, and he looked at him, said, not he was saying to himself, what do you mean? And he stood back angry, he said, did I say I was 60 years of age? Did I say I was 60? Did I? I'm 83, you know. The doctor said, gee, that's even better, he said, 83, you're in fantastic shape, he said, fantastic shape. Because your father must, have, father must have lived a long time. Silence. Did I say my father was dead? Did I? <laughs> Did I say my father was dead? My father was 104, you know. The doctor looked at him, unbelievable. said, you're a fantastic long-living family. Say, when did your grandfather die? Silence. <laughs> Did I say my grandfather was dead? Did I say my grandfather? My grandfather 124 and he's getting married next month. 
He looked at him, I don't believe this. This is, um, I don't, I just don't believe. 124 and he's getting married next month. Why would any man want to get married at 124? Silence. Did I say he wanted to get married? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> That's the introduction to the next song. <laughs> because the next song has a couple of lines in there that you have to get involved. It makes us good when you get involved. We feel better, you feel better. And this is part of the line where it says, He's got no forlorn, he's lost, he's the word is ding dorm. After the word lost, always remember the word ding dorm. If you don't know what a ding dorm is, you shouldn't be here in the first place. <laughs> he's got no forlorn, he's lost, he's ding dorm. We'll try it out for, for a little rehearsal. You ready? We'll say his lot, and you shout out as loud as you can, ding dorm. You got it? He's got no forlorn, he's lost, he's. Ah, oh, come on, that was a poor effort. <laughs> Give it a wash, you know what a ding dorm is. Make believe you know any if you don't know. We give it the back, okay? We run just the rest. An old man came courting me, he drew my darling. An old man came courting me, me the young. An old man came courting me, he did propose to me. Mates when you're young, never wed an old man. For he's got no fellorum, Valdilum, Valdorum, he's got no fellorum, Valdilum, Valdilum, he's got no fellorum, he lost his. So, mates, when you're young, never wed an old man. See, you get first, the night goes on. <laughs> That's why I like that one. When we went to our tea, he do my darling tea. When we went to our tea, me big young. When we went to work tea, he started teasing me. Mates, when you're young, never wed an old man. For he's got no fallorum, faldilum, faldorum. He's got no fallorum, faldilum, faldilum. He's got no fallorum, he lost his. So, mates, when you're young, never wed an old man. When we went to the church, hey do my darmity. When we went to the church, me be young. When we went to the church, they left me in the lodge. It's when you're young, never wed an old man. Swing back and forth. For he's got no fallorum, faldilum, faldorum. He's got no fallorum, faldilum, faldorum. He's got no fallorum, we lost it. So mates, when you're young, you never know where an old man. I like when we went to her bed, he do my darling. When we went to her bed, he be young. When we went to her bed, he neither done nor said. Mates, when you're young, never you wear an old. But he's got no fallorum, faldilum, faldorum. He's got no fallorum, faldilum, faldorum. He's got no fallorum, he's lost his. So mates, when you're young, never wed an old man. You do that for with a big smile on your face every time you do that. When he was fast asleep, he do my darling dear. Let's get him shy now. <laughs> When he was fast asleep, leaving young. When he was fast asleep, out of bed I did creep into the arms of a handsome young man. For he's, he's got fallorum, faldilum, fallorum. Yes, he's got fallorum, faldilum, faldilum. Yes, he's got fallorum, he's found his. You slipped up there, didn't you? Hey, he's got fallorum, he's found his. So mates, when you're young, never wear an old man. It's my turn to speak. <laughs> Seldom he gets a chance, you know. He looks at me and says, hey, will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> What's rare is wonderful. This next song, is a song about one of the major events in Ireland that happens on the West Coast every year 
It's called the Galway Races. Wit me whack, fall the door, fall the dithery idle day. Oh, wit me whack, fall the door, fall the dithery idle day. Oh, fall the door, fall the dithery idle day. As I rode out to Galway Town to seek for recreation On the 17th of August, my mind been elevated There was multitudes assembled with the tickets at the station My eyes began to dazzle and I got to see the race With me whack, fall the door, fall the dithery idly Tis there you see confectioners with sugar sticks and dainties With lozenges and oranges and lemonade and raisins And gingerbread and spices to accommodate the ladies And a big crew bean for thruppins to be picking while you're waiting Wet me whack, fall the door, fall the diddly idly And there you see the pipers and fiddlers competing The nimble for the dancers and the tripping through the daisies For the others quite cigars and nights and bills for all the races and the colours of the jockeys and the price and horses ages with me whack, fall the door, fall the diddly idly Once there you see the jockeys and they mounted on so stately The pink, the blue, the orange, the green, the emblem of a nation When the bell was rung for starting, all the horses seemed impatient And thought they never stood on ground, the speed was so amazing With me whack, fall the door, fall the diddly idly there was half a million people there of all denominations The Catholic, the Protestant, the Jew, the Presbyterian There was yet no animosity, no matter what persuasion But fortune, hospitality, induced and fresh acquaintance With me whack, fall the door, fall the diddly idly With me whack, fall the door, fall the diddly idly How are we doing so far? Thanks. <laughs> this next song is a tragedy. In fact, they're going to make a movie out of it. The fellow that directed and produced the Titanic is doing a new movie based on this next song. It's a sad song. It's a tragedy. It's from Australia. It's about a pub that ran out of beer. <laughs> Like. Sir, please stop crying. It's, 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 it's only a story. It's, it's, this is not true. Well, it's a lonesome away from the kindred and all by the campfire at night where the wild eagles call. But there's nothing so lonesome, so morbid or drear as to stand at the bar of a pub with no beer. The publican is anxious for the porter to come. There's a far away look on the face of a bum. The maid's acting cranky, the cook's acting queer. What a terrible place is a pub with no beer. A stockman drives up with his dry, dusty throat, presses up to the bar, pulls a roll from his coat. But the smile on his face quickly turns to a sneer When the barman says sadly, the pub's got no beer Sing it with us Yes, it's lonesome away from the kindred and all By the campfire at night where the wild eagles call But there's nothing so lonesome, so morbid or drear As to stand at the bar of a pub with no beer Billy the blacksmith, the first time in his life, has gone home cold sober to his darling wife. He walks in the door, she says, you're early, my dear. He breaks down and tells her, a pub's got no beer. There's a dog on the veranda for his master. He waits, but the boss is inside, is sipping wine with his mates. I said, he scurries for cover, he cringes in fear There's no place for a dog in a pub with no beer Sing with us Yes, there's a lonesome away from a kindred and all By the campfire at night where the wild eagles call But there's nothing so lonesome, so morbid or drear Than to stand at the bar of a pub with no beer
There are many uh, great poets in Ireland, and they've written many a nice song, and many a good poem, naturally. Uh, this song is written by one of the poems. It's called The, the uh, October Winds. But before the song, I'd like to do one of Yeats's poems, one of our greatest poets. It's called The Host to the Air. O'Driscoll drove with a song the wild duck and drake from the tall and tufted reeds of the drear heart lake. And they saw how the reeds grew dark at the coming of night tide, and they dreamed of the long dim hair of Bridget, his bride. And they heard as he sang and dreamed a piper piping away. Never was piping so sad. Never was piping so gay. And I saw young men and young girls dance on a level place and bridges, his bride among them with a sad but gay face. The dancers gathered round him and many a sweet thing said when your man brought him red wine and a young girl white bread. But Bridget drew him by the sleeve and away from the merry band to old men playing at cards with the twinkling of ancient hands. But the bread and the wine had a doom. For these were the hosts of the air, and he sat, and he played in a dream of her long, dim hair. He played to the merry old men, thought not of evil chance, until one bore Bridget his bride away from the merry dance. He bore away in his arms the handsomest young man there, and his neck and his breast and his arms were drowned in her long, dim hair. O'Driscoll scattered the cards. Out of his dream awoke, and old men, and young men, and young girls were gone like a drifting smoke, and he heard high up in the air a piper piping away. And never was piping so sad. Never was piping so gay. <laughs> The October winds lament around the castle of Dromo, and peace in her lofty heart by loving treasure store. The autumn leaves may droop and die, but of spring are you singing? Hush, a by Lula, Lula, land. Sing hush, a by Lula, Bring no will wind to hinder us, my helpless babe and me. Let's speak with all the black waters, Clan Owen's wild banshee. Then holy Mary pity in us in heaven for grace to soothe singing hush a by Lulo Lulo land sing hush a by Lulo Take time to try my ray of hope in the garden of Dromo. Take heed, young eagle, it's till thy wings a feather fit to soar. A little rest and then the world is full of work to do. Singing hush by Lulo, Lulo land. Thank you. There once was a troop of Irish dragoons came marching down to Fife And the captain fell in love with 
the very one I lost, and the name it was called Pretty Peggy O. There's many a bonny lass in the town of Auckland Glass. There's many a bonny lassie in the G.P.O. There's many a bonny jean in the streets of Aberdeen, but the flower of them all is in Fabio. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, oh. Oh, come down the stairs, take off your yellow hair. Pay the long farewell to your mammy, oh. I never did intend a soldier's lady for to be. I never will marry a soldier, oh. I never did intend to go to a foreign land. And I never will marry a soldier, oh. Langer we came to the town of Auckland. We had our captain to carry o. And Langer we came to the streets of Aberdeen. We had our captain to bury o. The colonel he cries mount, mount boys mount. The captain he cries tarry o. Oh tarry for a while, for another day or two, till I see if this bonny lass will marry o. Green grow the birks, and the bonny heat and sigh, and low lie the lowlands of Fivey O. For the captain shame was net, and he died for the maid, he died for the chambermaid of Fivey O. Oh, there's many a bonny lass in the town of Arkham Lass, there's many a bonny lassie in the Jerry O. There's many a bonny jeep in the streets of Aberdeen, but the flower of them all is in Fivey you know, wasn't that a lovely day today? And from now on, it's going to pick up, I think, because the summertime is coming. And the trees are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain thyme grows around the blooming heather. That's the name of the song. Will you go, lassie, go? I will, she says. You all know the chorus. You can sing it with us. We'd love it. Just bring in the summer with us, okay? No more drink for you tonight. <laughs> you want me to yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. I just broke a nail. <laughs> Get these things happen. We don't care anymore. We're going beyond that. Who cares anymore? Make mistakes. Enjoy every one of them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the summer time is coming, and the trees are sweetly blooming. And the wild mountain time Grows around the blooming heather Will you go, oh lassie? That lovely go. song, sing it with us. And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain time all around the blooming heather Will you go, oh lassie? Go? I will build my love a town Near yon pure crystal fountain And on it I will all the flowers of the mountain Will you go, oh lassie, go And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain time All around the blooming heather Will you go, oh lassie, go? If 
my true love she were gone I would surely find another Where the wild mountain thyme Grows around the blooming heather Will you go, oh lassie, go and we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain tide all around the blooming heather. Will you go, oh lassie? Go. Oh, the summertime is coming. Oh, the summertime is coming. And the trees are sweetly blowing And the wild mountain tide Goes around the blooming heather Will you go, oh lassie? And you're on the course, we'll all go together And we'll all go together Lift it to pluck wild Think of the lovely day we had time All around the blooming nether Will you go, oh lassie go. Go. And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain time All around Thank you. It is guitar. And then Thank you so much. We'd like to tell you a few things we've been up to the past couple of years. About two years ago, Bobby released a solo CD called The Quiet Land, and if you like the poem that he just recited by William Butler Yeats, that poem is on there. There's a lot of great songs on there as well. Um, we share the, the fact that that rendition of that poem from Bobby's CD is played every day in Ireland at the William Butler Yeats Center, and it's a great tribute to Bobby. Congratulations, cool. Bobby. Thank you. That's my paw. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Finbar, on the other hand, <laughs> <laughs> has done nothing. Yet. And that's my boy, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, we released a group CD just about uh, a year ago that was recorded live. It's our live show. In fact, if you bought it, you probably wouldn't be here seeing us right now. <laughs> it's not true. You'd be coming back for more. <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was the first CD that Finbar had been featured on. So let's hear it for, for Finn. <laughs> And I have a and I have a solo album in the works. So the next time we come back, there's one for everyone in the audience. <laughs> That's right. And we haven't put it there yet, but if you want to hear some clips of Finbar's upcoming CD, it's on our website, which is arcalbums.com. Now I'm going to talk. You about repeat that, please. I can hear it. Arcalbums.com. I like it. <laughs> like Nor's arcalbums.com. Yeah. Now I'm going to talk about myself. <laughs> This is where the money is, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, the luck to be able to produce a couple of CDs, and my latest CD is a solo CD. It's an instrumental CD, uh, and it's called The Barber's Lament, and I'd like to play the, uh, the title track called The Barber's Lament. And if you want to know where the name Barber's Lament came from, just look at this here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cousin Eddie. Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? Lovely. We're going to bring it back to Ireland now, back to the young days when we were young. When I was young, I had no sense that I bought a fiddle for 18 pence. The only tune that I could play was Over the Hills and Very Far Away. We're not going to sing that song, but it sounds good. We're going to sing a song that we always sang when we were young. And tell me, Ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. Tell me, ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They pulled my hair and they stole my comb, but that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she's the belle of Belfast City. She is a court in one, two, three, please would you tell me who is she? Albert Mooney says she loves her, all the boys are fighting for her. Rapping the door and the ringing the bell, said, oh my true love, are you well? Out she comes, it's white as snow, with rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. Oh, Jenny Murray said she'll die if she doesn't get the fellow with the robe and eye. Let the wind and the rain and the hail blow high, the snow comes traveling from the sky. She's as nice as apple pie, she'll get her own lap by and by. When she gets a lot of her own, she won't tell them how when she comes home. Let them all come as they will, for it's Albert Moon, is she lost him? I tell me, ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. Pull my hair and I stole my comb, but that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is a belle of Belfast City. She is a court in one, two, three, please will you tell me who is she? Albert Moody says she loves her, all the boys are fighting for her. Rapping the door with the ring of the bell, say, oh, my true love, are you well? Out she comes, as white as snow, with rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. Oh, Jenny Murray said she'll die if she doesn't get the fellow with a robe and eye. Let them all come as they will for us, Albert Moody, she must be. Okay. We'd like to finish the first half of tonight's show, this next song. We're going to take a little break for about 10 minutes in order to have a nice cup of tea. We advise you to do the same. There's no fun in it, but you can try it. <laughs> you should all know this next song. It goes, I'm a rambler. I'm a gambler. I'm a long ways from home. And if you don't like me, I'll eat when I'm, drink when I'm, and if moonshine don't kill me, by God I have it. I'm a rambler, I'm a gambler, I'm a long ways from home And if you don't like me, well, leave me alone I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry And if moonshine don't kill me, I'll live till I die I've been a moonshiner for many a year I spent all my money on whiskey and beer I'll go to some hollow, I'll set up my still And I'll make you a gallon for a two dollar bill I'm a rambler, I'm a gambler, I'm a long way from home And if you don't like me, well leave me alone I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry And if moonshine don't kill me, I'll live till I die I go to some hollow in this country Ten gallons of quash I can do on a spree No women to follow, the world is all mine 
I love them so well as I love the moonshine. I'm a rambler and a gander and a long way from home. And if you don't like me, well, leave me alone. I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry. And a moonshine don't kill me, I'll live till I die. Oh, moonshine, dear moonshine, oh, how I love thee. You kill me, old father, but ah, uh, you try me. Bless all moonshiners and bless all moonshine. Their breath smells as sweet as the dew on the vine. On your own, I'm a red. I'm a strum. And leave me a lovely pile. And if lovely. I'm a rapper and a gander, I'm a long way from home And if you don't like me, well, leave me alone I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry And a moonshine don't kill me, I'll eat till I die See you in the second half. Okay, thank, thank you. you. How was the cup of tea? Good better? There you go. Ours was great, I can tell you. Rather laced, you know. You be patient with us now for one second and we'll be fine. We just to get our accoutrements up here. Ready? It was the best cup of tea we ever had. It was Friday morn when we set sail and we were not far from the land When our captain he spied a mermaid so fair with a comb and a glass in her hand And the ocean waves do roll and the stormy winds do blow And we poor sailors are skipping at the top while the land lovers lie down below, below, below Lovers lie down below Up spoke the captain of our gallant ship A fine old man was he Tell this pretty mermaid As warm we ever do We shall sink to the bottom of the sea And the ocean waves do roll And the stormy winds do blow and we poor sailors are skipping at the top While the land lovers lie down below, below, below While the land lovers lie down below Up scope the cabin boy of her gallant ship And a well-spoken lad was he Saying I have a sweetheart in Salem by the sea And tonight she'll be dreaming of me And the ocean waves do roll and the stormy winds do blow And we poor sailors are skimming at the top While the land lovers lie down below, below, below While the land lovers lie down below And up spoke the cook of a gallant ship A crazy old butcher was he Says I care much more for my pots and my pan Than I do for the bottom of the sea and the ocean waves do roll And the stormy winds do blow Oh yeah, we poor sailors are skimming at the top While the land lovers lie down below, below, below While the land lovers lie down below Three times around spun our gallant ship And three times around spun she Three times around spun our gallant ship And she sank to the bottom of the sea And the ocean waves do roll And the stormy winds do blow yeah, We poor sailors skipping at the top While the land lovers lie down below, below, below While the land lovers lie down below After
after all that rowdy carry on, we'll have a quiet song this time. A little Scottish song from the island of Mingalay, where the fishermen are out all night long fishing. They come back late in the morning. The wives are waiting for them in the harbour after saying goodnight to their loved ones. You know, the song is called Heal Your Hope, boys. Heal your old boys, let her go, boys. Heave her head round to the weather. Heal your old boys, let her go, boys. Sailing homeward to mingle in. What care we? Why the minches? What care we for the wind and weather? We were on boys every inch, nearing home to mingle in. are waiting in the harbor looking seaward from the heather heave around boys and we'll anchor ere the sun sets on mingle From my accent, you can probably tell I'm not from Ireland. He's from China. <laughs> Actually, I'm from County Norfolk. <laughs> I grew up in uh, Braintree. We won't hold that against you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I graduated from UMass Boston. He's waiting for a hand for that. Do you ever notice that? <laughs> so... Like <laughs> and he knitted his own sweater. <laughs> and if you believe that, we have land for a sale in Randolph. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem to, so long ago that I did graduate from college. Like two years, that's what it seems like. It's you too, right? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I had a great opportunity. I had a, went on a trip to Ireland and with my girlfriend at the time. Oh, it, it, was, it, was <laughs> it was wonderful, and I was really excited because a friend of mine's mother lived in County Clare in <coughs> Ennis. And she, he had let me know, you know that she's expecting us and just call her, which we did when we got over to the west coast of Ireland and went to Mrs. Keene's house in the afternoon one day. And she was expecting us, and she had made scones and some, some brown bread, and she had made this beautiful pot of tea and sat us down in the living room. You're starving with the hunger here before you. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I mean, I was thrilled. I was going to impress this girl that I was with. It was just wonderful. And this, I was in seventh heaven. This is it. When Mrs. Keene was walking into the kitchen, she says, Eddie. So I got right up. Yes, Mrs. Keene, come into the kitchen. Have you ever heard of Pachin? I know, I know a, a, a few songs about it, Mrs. Keene. She goes, I want you to try it. She took it out from the cabinet. This, it looked like, like vodka. Took a mug, a big, big mug. And <laughs> drink this. So I thought, no problem. I drank the whole thing down. <laughs> Walked back. <laughs> Walked back to, into the living room. Backwards. Right. <laughs> Couldn't speak. The rest of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song about Pachin. White lightning. Right, Biddy? Holy water. That's it. Or Mountain Dew. May the grasses grow and the waters flow in a free and easy way. But give me enough of the fine old stuff that's made by Galway Bay. And policemen all from Donegal, Sligo, Leitrim too. We'll give them a slip and we'll take a sip of the railroad mountain too. Hi, the dilly, the dum, the dilly, the dum, the dilly, the dum, the dilly, the dum, at the foot of the hill there's a neat little still where the smoke curls up to the sky. By the smoke and the smell you can plainly tell there's a whiskey brewing nearby. For it fills the air with an odor rare betwixt both me and you. When it's home you go, you should take a bowl or a bucket of the mountain dew. Hi, you you ride in the now, learned men who use the pen have wrote your praises high. The sweet pachin from Ireland's green, distilled from wheat and rye. Throw away your pills, if a cure all is, be a pig and a Christian or Jew. Take off your coat and grease your throat with the rail of mountain dew. Hi, the dilly, the dum, the dilly, the dum, the dum, the dilly, the dum, the dum, the when I was a little boy, so my mother told me, Tommy. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. That if I did not kiss the girls, my lips would all grow mouldy to me. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. And way haul away, the good ship now is rolling to me. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. King Louis was the king of France before the revolution. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. And then he got his head chopped off, it spoiled his constitution. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. Well, first I met a Yankee girl and she was fat and lazy to me. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. And then I met an Irish girl, she damn near drove me crazy, Timmy. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. St. Patrick was a gentleman, he came from days and people, Timmy. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. He built a church in Dublin town and on it bore a steeple, Timmy. Way haul away, will haul away, Joe. And way haul away, we're bound for better weather, Timmy. 
Way haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Now, we don't like drinking beer ourselves, but we love singing about it. The next song is all about beer. The fella said, I have no pain, dear mother, now, but oh, I am so dry. Connect me to a brewery and leave me there to die. <laughs> that is one type of drinker. The other type is the poetic type, which is often a different world. And he's thinking something else. He's so fascinated with life. He loves everybody. He says, the wonderful love of a beautiful maid, the love of a staunch true man, the love of a baby unafraid, all have existed since time began. But the greatest love, the love of all loves, even greater than that of a mother, is the tender, passionate, th undying love <laughs> of one drunken slob for another. <laughs> the next song is about the man who invented beer. His name is Charlie Mops. Now, the least we can do for this man is give him at least five seconds of our time. And how we do this is put your hands up like this and count one, two, three, four, five, like this. Ready? One, two, three, four, Five, he might have been an admiral, a sultan, or a king. And to his praises, oh, we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. A long time ago, way back in history, when all they wanted to drink was nothing but cups of tea. Along came a man by the name of Charlie Mops, and he invented a wonderful drink and he made it out of hops. He might have been an admiral, a sultan, or a king. And to his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, beer, beer. To push all the hops, just stir it around with a stick. The kind of lubrication to make your engine tick. Forty pints of wallop a day will keep away the cracks. It's only eight pence, hate me a pint, and one six in tax. All together now, with fingers up. One, two, three, four, five. He might have been an admiral, a sultan, or a king. And to his praises, so we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, 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 diddly beer, beer, beer. At Clancy's bar, the Fury's pop, and the whole of the wall as well. One thing can be sure of is Charlie's beer to sell. So come along, me lucky lads, eleven o'clock she stops. And for five short seconds now, remember, poor Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, fingers up. One, two, three. Four, five, he might have been an admiral, a sultan, or a king. And to his praises, so we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented me. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we'd set sail from the cold keys of Cork. It was a long journey and with a very strange cargo on board. Here's a story of the Irish Rover. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the cold key of Cork. We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks for the grand city hall in New York. We'd an elegant craft, she was rigged for and half, and how the trade winds drove her. She had twenty-three masts, and she stood several blasts, and they called her the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee, there was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk, he was scared stiff of work, and a chap from Westmead named Malone. We had Sutter or two who was drunk as a rule, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Mick McGann, from the banks of the band, was the skipper of the Irish Rover. We had 
I sailed seven years. So we had one million bags. I would make a big mistake if we like hand we? we had one million bags of the best leg or rags. We had two million bottles of corn. We had three million pairs of our nanny goat's tails. We had four million bottles of stone. We had five million hogs and six million dogs and seven million barrels of porter. We had a million size of our blind horses' size in the hold of the Irish Rover. We had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost her way in a fog. Hey, 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 big fog. Two people over there say, big fog, big deal. <laughs> you do any better than that? Big fog, give the works. You ready? We had sailed seven, seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost her way in a fog. And the weight of the crew was reduced down to two. Trust me, myself and the captain. So dark. Big dog, well, the ship struck a rock. Oh, Lord, what a shock. And nearly tumbled over. Shut up with you. <laughs> Tut nine, nine times, times around. <laughs> and the, the poor old dog was drowned. Oh, together. Good, 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 good. I am the last, last of the Irish Rover. We always like to feature an instrumental every set, and we're going to feature Finbar here on the flute. If I didn't break it already. <laughs> There's a tune called Tim Hobans, and you can feel free to clap along at any stage. follow that tune with another story. Would anyone like to hear a rebellion song? Yeah. We should all know this song. But first, in the 18th century, rebellion seemed to sweep the world. 
You're the French Revolution. You're the American War of Independence and in Ireland with the rebellion of 1798. And one of the leaders of that rebellion was for his efforts hanged by the neck in his own hometown of Toombridge, County Antrim. His name was Roddy McCorley. Oh, see the fleet for toasts of men who speed with faces one from farmstead and from fishers cut along the banks of Ban. They come with vengeance in their eyes. Too late, too late are they. As young Roddy McCauley goes to die on the bridge of doom today. On the narrow street he stepped, smiling proud and young. About the hem broke on his neck, the golden ringless clung. There is never a tear in his blue eyes, both glad and bright are they. As young Roddy McCauley goes to die on the bridge of tomb today. When he last stepped up that street, his shining pike in hand, behind him marched in grim array a stalwart earnest man. For Antrim town, for Antrim town, he led them to the fray. As young Roddy McCauley goes to die on the bridge of tomb today. There is never a one of all your dead more bravely fell in fray. Then he who marches to his fate on the bridge of tomb today. True to the last, true to the last, he treads the upward way. As a Roddy McCauley goes to die on the bridge of tomb today. Thank you. I've got to take you back in time this time, just for a change. Back to the Second World War. In case somebody here might remember that time. I don't remember, of course. <coughs> Eddie remembers, don't you? Yes, vividly. Uh, back to the time of Lily Marlene time, and during that time, when everybody in the world sang Lily Marlene, it was a lovely song to sing at the time. But there was a, a love song before that. Uh, the codes were sent out by a man called Leo Marx, and he was responsible for sending codes to the spies behind the enemy lines. And one of the quotes he sent to one of his girls who he's in love with, it says, the life that I have is all that I have. And the life that I have is yours. The love that I have of the life that I have is yours and yours and yours. The sleep I shall have, the rest I shall have, yet death will be but a pause. For the peace of my years and the long green grass will be yours and yours, and yours. Underneath the lamplight, by the barricade, darling, I remember, it's there you used to wait, there that you whispered tenderly that you loved me, you'd always be. My lily of the lamplight, my only Lee Time has come for roll call, time for us to part. Darling, I'll caress you and press you to my heart. There where that lantern softly beams, the sweet face seen to haunt my dream. My lily of the lamp light, my only Lee Orders came for sailing somewhere over there, all confined to barracks 
It's more than I could bear. I knew you were waiting in the street. I heard your feet, but could not meet. My lily of the lamplight, my only Lee resting in the billet just behind the line. Even though we parted, your lips are close to mine. There is My lily of the lamplight, my only Marley. Oh, the life that I have is all that I have. The life that I have is yours. The love that I have of the life that I have is yours and yours and yours. The sleep I shall have, the rest I shall have, yet death will be but a pause. For the peace of my years in the long green grass will be yours and yours and yours. My lily of the lamp light, my only Lee My lily of the lamp light, my only Lee We'd like to remind you that um, at the end of the night, we're going to be out at the uh, CD table out in the lobby, and we would like to shake all of your hands. We'd like to meet everybody here. You've been a great audience. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to find out more about the band, uh, we have formed our own label. It's called Arc Albums. I mentioned it earlier and you can sign up. We have a mailing list that's out there. You can sign on that. And you can also visit us on the web at arcalbums.com. Come and see us. We're lonely on the web. <laughs> <laughs> you know, isn't the price commercial supposed to go up? You didn't oh, sorry. Up on that. Come and see us. Ah, you're <laughs> tough. Now we can turn it down. <laughs> We talk about your Lancers or your Irish Fusiliers The Aberdeen Militia or the Dublin Volunteers Or any other regiment that's high far away But give to me the tartan of the gun for the Stroll into the green fields on a summer's day I watching all the country girls are working at the hay I really was delighted and I stole my heart away When I saw him in the tartan of the gun for the I never shall forget the day his regiment marched past The pipes did play a lively tune and my heart was aghast And as she smiled and bid farewell and then from far away I heard the drums and pipers of the Cannon 43 Stole into the green fields on a summer's day Watching all the country girls are working at the hay I really was delighted and she stole my heart to war When I saw me in the tartan of the Cannon 43 Watching all the country girls are working at the hay. I really was delighted and she stole my heart to war. But I saw me in the tartan of the gun for I really was delighted and she stole my heart to war. But I saw me in the tartan of the gun for We stayed in many a hotel and guest house in my four, four years that I've been with these guys, but he's stayed in many more... You tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> he just sprung to something. You tell the story. Oh, Why not tell it? It's good. Anyway, we did stay in many a strange place over the years. We never had a hotel, I can tell you right now. Eddie was the first hotel we ever moved into. <laughs> We had strange places all over the world, but the worst place we ever did go to, I suppose, where the fleas could jump nine feet high. They even entered for the Olympic Games, if you know what I mean. They were that good. 
And this is the place outside Glasgow. And here's the story about the night that we spent in Ratio. One New Year's Eve in Glasgow town, when all we had was half a crown. A bunch of us said we'd prowl around and find a pub in Ratio. We wandered down Victoria Street, and we didn't care for the snow nor sleet. And at half past two, with thick and feet, we found ourselves in Ratio. A tell him I do a dumb a day, tell him I do a dad and oh, tell him I do a dumb a day, the night we went to Ratio. Bobby Clancy here is a bit of a lout, what? said he'd treat us all to a pint of stout. So as quick as a wink, we all set out. For a public house in Ratio. Said I, my lads, I'd like to sing. Says I, you'll no do such a thing. Clear the room and we'll make a ring. I'll fight you all in Ratio. Tell him I do a dumb a day. Tell him I do a dab and Tell him I do a dumb a day. The night we went to Ratio. Then we had to find a place to sleep. We were all too drunk to even creep. We found a place that was really cheap. In a boarding house in Ratio. We all let down to take our ease. <laughs> Come on, then. When somebody happened for to sneeze. <laughs> and he awakened half a million fleas in a single room in Ratio. Tell him I do a dumb a day. Tell him I do a dumb a day. Tell him I do a dumb a day. The night we went to Ratio. There were several different kinds of pests. They ran and jumped inside our vests. They got in our hair and they built their nest. <laughs> and they cried, Hurrah for Ratio! <laughs> Says I, I think we'll head for home. And, and we swore we never more would roam. And, and we're scratching still as we sing the song of the night we went to Ratio. Tell them I do a dumb a day, tell them I do a dumb day. The night we went to Ratio. I didn't do a dumb day, didn't I do a dumb day? Didn't I do a dumb day? And night we went to Ratio. We sure made a mess of that one, but we had great fun. The bottom of the story is don't go to Ratio. <laughs> Has anybody ever heard of the famous... <laughs> no more. Okay, no more laughing, no more joking. <laughs> the famous yes. Irish author James Joyce, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of, wrote a very long and complicated and involving book called Finnegan's Wake. My father, Bobby Clancy here, is going to recite for you the That's entire it. novel. <laughs> Finnegan's Wake. That's what you think. Take it away, Dad. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> River run past even Adam, from swerve of shore to bend of bay, takes us by a commodious vicus of recirculation back to Hoot Castle and environs. Big Mr. Finnegan of the Stutton Hand, free man's moral lived in the broadest way imaginable, and his rush lived too far back from Meshawajas before Joshua and Judges had given us numbers, or Leviticus had committed Deuteronomy. During mighty odd years, this man of hot cement and edifices and topos thought, pile of build on, super build on, on the banks of the livers for the so and sows, a world of a skyscraper, of the most eyeful height entirely, originated with next to nothing, with the burning bush bobbis bobble top, with lads of two clothing up, Thomas of Buckers clothing down. <laughs> now, the first was he to bear arms and a name, was Lee Boosley of Grangeborn. Aha, Mr. Finn, you're going to be fine again. Aha, Mr. Fun, you're going to be Mr. Finn again. But dim, dim, he stutters from the lather, and dim, he was dead. Tim Finnegan lived in Walker Street, a gentle Irish man by the odd. He had a brogue so rich and sweet, and a rise of the words he carried on. See his sword and a tip of his way, with a lung with a nigger for Tim was born. Help him on, he's what he stayed, and rough with a creator every morn. One for the dad, oh, that's the partner, wife, the glory, and shot his name. Wasn't it, in the truth I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's wing. One morning Tim felt rather full, his head felt heavy, which made him shake. Fell from the ladder and he broke his skull. They brought him home his cops to wake. They rolled him up in a nice clean sheet. They laid him out upon the bed. 
With a bucket of whiskey at his feet And a can of porter at his head Back to the dad or dance to your partner Wipe the floor, you tatter shake Wasn't it the tooth I told you Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake His friends assembled at the wake And Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch First she served them tea and cake Then pipe tobacco and whiskey punch Biddy O'Brien began to cry Such a nice clean corpse did you ever see Tim Avoney, why did you die? Yarra, hold your cup, said Biddy McGee Hot for the dad, oh, then see your partner Wipe the floor, you tell her she What a day, the truth I told you Lots of fun at Biddy's week And Maggie O'Connor took up the job A Biddy says she, you're wrong, I'm sure Biddy gave her a belt and a gob And left her sprawling on the floor Then the war is soon engaged Was woman to woman and man to man Shalala in law was all the rage And a row and a ruction soon began Fight for the dad, now dance to your partner Wipe the floor, your tutter shake Wasn't it the truth I told you Lots of fun and Finnegan's wake Then Mickey Malone, he ducked his head When a bucket of whiskey flew at him It missed and fallen on the bed The liquor scattered over Tim The God here revived See how he rises Timmy the rising from the bed Saying, will you whiskey around like blazes Southern Jays, do you think I'm dead? Whack for the dad, I'll dance to your partner Wipe the floor, you tell her shake What the day, the truth I told you Lots of fun at Vegas, wake Whack for the dad, I'll dance to your partner Wipe the floor, you tell her shake What the day, the truth I told you Lots of fun at Vegas, wake How was the row one game ball? Well, I must say you've been a fantastic audience, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. And you were good as well. We have to finish up with this next song, but it's a song you all know. A song that says, no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more I've been a Wild Rover for many a year I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with gold and great store I never will play the Wild Rover no more And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover No, never, no more I went into an alehouse which I used to frequent I told the landlady my money is spent I asked her for credit, she answered me nay A customer like you I can have any day And it's, it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more When I play the Wild Rover No, never, no more And out of my pocket I took sovereigns bright and the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight She said, I have whiskies and wines of the best But the words I had spoke, she were only in jest And, and it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more I go home to my parents, confess what I've done And I'll ask them to pardon a body good son And if they caress me as not times before Then I never will play the Wild Rover on your own And it's no, may never May never, no more Will I And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover? 
Thank you very much. My oh God, you have great taste. God bless you. Would you like to hear another song? My grandparents came from County Kildare, from County Galway. I moved to Quincy a long time ago. <laughs> and I bet a lot of you have, we're probably all related. <laughs> but as you know, a lot of people came, as many people came this way as went the other way. They went south, they went down to the other side of the world, down to Australia. And this is the story of a fellow that got to Australia, caused a lot of trouble. You all know him. His name's Jack Duggan, the wild colonial boy. Let's sing it all together, shall we? There was a wild colonial boy, Jack Duggan was his name. He was born and raised in Ireland, in a place called Castlemaine. He was his father's only son, his mother's pride and joy. And dearly did his parents love the wild colonial boy. At the early age of 16 years, he left his native home. And to Australia's sunny shores, he was inclined to roam. He robbed the rich, he helped the poor, he shot James McAvoy. A terror to Australia was the wild colonial boy. One morning on the prairie, as Jack he rode along, listening to the mockingbird singing a cheerful song. Oh, he have one? A steps, a band of troopers, Kelly Davis and Fitzroy. They all set out and capture him, the wild colonial boy. Surrender now, Jack Duggan, can you see your sweet old one? Surrender in the king's high name, you are a pondering son. Jack threw two pistols from his bed, he proudly raised them high. I fight, but now surrender, said the wild colonial boy. He fired a shot at Kelly, which brought him to the ground. And turning round to Davis, he received a fatal wound. A bullet pierced his proud young heart, for the pistol of his right. And that was how they captured him, the wild colonial boy. Well, I must say, I'm glad you give yourself a clap because you're worth it. Give yourself a clap by yourself. And now we'd like to show our appreciation to you by singing to you our parting song. And so of all the money that we have spent, we have spent it in good company. And of all the harm that we've done, alas, it was to none but me. Oh, of all the money that here I spend, I've spent it in good company. And of all the harm that here I've done, alas, it was to none but me. For all I've done, for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Oh, of all the
the comrades that e'er I've had They were sorry for my going away And of all the sweethearts that e'er I've had They would wish me one more day to stay What sings it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not. I'll gently rise and I'll softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. Good night and thank you very much. As the poem says, thank you very much. <laughs> and you have great taste, thank you very much. As the poem says, our, our revels now are ended. These are actors, as I have foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air, into thin air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, yea, all which we inherit, shall dissolve. And like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. Ye are such stuff as dreams are made of, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. Good night to you all. We'll see you in the hallway there in two minutes. We'll be out to meet you. <laughs>